Let's jump into the tools for concentration and focus. If you want to think about tools of any kind to modify your biology or physiology in any way, whether or not it's for cognitive function or you wanna get better at exercising or you wanna build muscle or you wanna improve your hormones, you need to think and understand tools in the context of modulation and mediation. What do I mean by that? Well, it's quite simple really. Mediation is how specific types of chemicals and cells and circuits and organs control very specific things in your brain and body. Whereas modulation is the ability of chemicals and cells and circuits to adjust how different things change, how different things work in your brain and body, but to do it more broadly. What do I mean by this? Let me give an example. For instance, I'm going to tell you now that one of the most important things to build and maintain your focus and concentration is to optimize your sleeping behavior. That is to get enough quality sleep, I would say 80% of the nights of your life. Not everyone can get optimal sleep 100% of the nights of their life. Nobody, truly nobody achieves that. However, sleep has been shown to relate to cognitive performance, physical performance, hormone output, and so many other things, including immune system function. What we can reliably say is that sleep modulates just about every process in your brain and body. So you have to get great sleep. There's simply no tool that's going to allow you to overcome chronic sleep deprivation and allow you to remain focused. No pill, no device, no supplement, no protocol whatsoever. There are tools to overcome one night or maybe two nights of sleep deprivation, and we'll talk about those. But at a fundamental level, we need to do the things that modulate our focus and attention in powerful ways and sleep really is that thing. So we've done two episodes, one called Master Your Sleep and the other episode is Perfect Your Sleep. The Perfect Your Sleep is a little bit more like this episode, more focused on protocols. Master Your Sleep includes protocols and mechanism. Again, you can find those at hubermanlab.com. We also have a sleep toolkit, a distilled list of things to do in order to optimize your sleep. I highly recommend that you download that. You can go to hubermanlab.com, go to the Neural Network newsletter. It is listed there. If you want, you can sign up for the newsletter, but you don't have to. You can simply download the PDF of that toolkit for zero cost. Why do I say sleep modulates focus and attention? Well, I'll give an analogy. If right now someone pulled a fire alarm in this building, or if we had a fire in this building, my attention would drift. It would not be on recording this podcast. It would be on something else. But would I say that the fire alarm mediates attention. I mean, fire alarms are not really involved in attention. No, rather they modulate my attention. The noise in the room modulates my attention. That's quite a bit different than a tool that I'll provide later. And I'll just give you a little hint of now. In fact, I'll give it to you now, which is that 40 Hertz binaural beats have been shown in a number of peer reviewed studies to increase focus and concentration. And if you'd like to access 40 Hertz binaural beats in order to improve your focus and concentration, you can do that. You can actually get it at zero cost. You can go into the app store, for instance, the Apple app store. Uh, this is also available for Android phone. There's an app called Brainwave and you can go there, you can dial in 40 Hertz and it'll play these binaural beats. It's been shown in multiple quality peer reviewed studies that playing a pattern of sound waves to one ear, do, 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 and the other ear, which is slightly offset in frequency, meaning not quite the same frequency, so more like do, 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 that that combination of frequencies played to the different ears actually get integrated within deep brain centers and can increase focus and concentration in part by increasing levels of the neurochemical dopamine and acetylcholine, which we talked about a little bit earlier in this arrow model of focus. So we'll provide a link to that app. I don't have any relationship to that app, I should mention, uh, but it's an excellent one. It's one that I've used for many years. There are also additional functions within the app, such as for sleep and for other things, but the 40 Hertz 40HZ is the way it reads out. 40 Hertz stimulation has been shown to improve focus and concentration. Here is my recommendation in the way that I use it. I would not use 40 Hertz binaural beats every time I'm doing a bout of work. What I tend to do is use it for about five minutes prior to that work and then turn it off and then do the work. And I'll talk about other tools to use during that work, whether or not it's reading or math or even just emailing or something where I require a bunch of focus for a while. 
However, there are times in which I'm in an area or I'm in a state of mind where I'm feeling very distractible and then I'll keep the 40 hertz binaural beats on the entire time I'm doing that bout of cognitive work. I'll also sometimes use the 40 hertz binaural beats prior to a workout, in particular weight workouts where I really wanna be able to focus on and contract specific muscles. So it's a very useful tool, again, supported by quality peer reviewed science, zero cost available out there, not just in the Brainwave app, but in multiple apps. I think many of you will benefit from it. Some of you might not experience it immediately as a total dropping into a tunnel of focus in the same way that you might with say, uh, the sorts of neurochemicals that we'll talk about later, like alpha GPC and some of these other things that change neurochemicals directly. But nonetheless, 40 Hertz binaural beats are a very powerful tool. Again, zero cost non-pharmacologic tool that tap into your own endogenous, meaning within you or exists within you physiology in order to increase acetylcholine and some other neurochemicals. And they have been shown to work quite well.